Hello, my name is Edith Riza and I study urban planning and management in Tehran, Albania. Today I wanted to present you a project that I worked in the context of regional planning. It is about one of the most technically challenging highways ever built in Balkans. This highway connects Albania with Kosovo and Eastern Balkan and runs through the deepest and the roughest places of the northern Albania, not only geographically, but also economically, culturally and socially. Now you may wonder why this highway is regarded as such a breakthrough. The reason is simple. It brings together urban areas with more deeper areas in the, in the northern part. And of course, it brings together people from the urban areas with their relatives in the mountains. This is why I wanted to go deeper into the issue and analyze the impact this highway would have on the area, especially, especially on the little region called Mirdita. I started to go back in Mirdita's history and find out about the roots of its origin and one of the most characteristic elements of Mirdita's identity is the power of the Kanun. Shortly explaining it, the Kanun is a set of oral Albanian laws. This unwritten set of laws would regulate perfectly the way people would live and behave in the time it had been created in the 15th century. And of course, the people adopted perfectly this way of living, making possible to the Kanun to survive for more than five centuries and still come to nowadays partially. This is why my project is called Mirdita Living History. This is why the project is somehow inspired by some discussions with friends regarding reenactments. I love the idea of presenting this kind of activity in Albania, but in a very different way. In your data, you don't have to act to show good aspects of your history and culture. Some specific aspects of the way people live and behave is the best way to show how people from this region used to live and behave in the time that Kanun started to take power. This project aims to create and facilitate, very originally, a touristic activity which will sustainably use beauties of nature to attract tourism and then deliver services by the most traditional and very special ways of the Kanun's hospitality and entertain with special events characteristic of the area and the people. The project specified nine interesting steps in how this project can be implemented with the actors involved. Working with people who maybe have problems of mentality might be difficult, but gives you special pleasure in trying hard to help these people who are very warm-hearted in hospitality and friendship along with honor and kindness. This project aims to show to these people how to better appreciate and use gifts as nature and historical events to develop their economy and of course being part of an acti activity where everyone can improve economically and meanwhile profit socially and culturally. In the end, what's more important than bringing out your identity in a way that our modern times can embrace it? I hope you are interested in hearing more details about this project and really hope to make it to TEDxPlan. Thank you.